Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, YouTube. We hope you're enjoying the festive season, surrounded by loved ones, full of food, and wearing terribly knitted sweaters. But today we're going to spare a thought for someone for whom this is surely one of the darkest times of year, Father Christmas. Today's question is, how do you get presents to every animal? <laughs> Now it's always nice to give presents and to share. Yes, yeah. Uh, but what if you weren't just trying to get gifts for your family or even your species, but literally millions of species containing billions, if not trillions of animals? Hmm. Here at the BBC, we've brought you some pretty incredible animals over the years. So you'd probably think that we found most of them by now. Well, think again. In fact, we discover them at such a rate, it takes us quite a long time to count them all. The most recent year for which we have a firm tally is 2009, when an additional 19,232 species were added to our list, which brings our total to around 2 million species. And that's pretty extraordinary, but some educated guesses suggest that that's only 10% of the number of species actually out there. A pretty humbling thought. Especially when all those animals are on the Christmas card list. What's that? Oh, is that the magic? Yeah, it is for quite a bit. Now, Father Christmas couldn't make it here today because not only has he got billions of homes to get to, but he's got trillions of animals to see to. So he's entrusted some of us dedicated animal lovers to help him along the way. And fortunately enough for me, I have got the jackass penguin. Really, guys, the jackass penguin? Is he trying to be funny? Jackass penguins are so cool because they make a braying noise similar to that of a donkey, but they're also more appropriately known as the African penguin. The trouble is, it's a bit of a nightmare trying to tell these guys apart. So how am I meant to know which one gets which present? Well, that one over there's got a pink eyebrow, so I'm going to call him Pinky. I think I might be getting somewhere. Well, actually, no, Patrick. These penguins actually inflate their eyebrows to lose heat. They pump blood to their eyebrows, which then cools down against the air. So maybe their eyebrows isn't the best way to tell them apart. Thankfully, some clever scientists have figured that all out. Tilo Berghardt is a computer science lecturer at the University of Bristol. Tilo. Hello, Patrick. Right, so tell us, why are you having the same problem that I'm having right now? We wanted to help counting populations, and really what you need is you need to tell who is who, otherwise you count twice, Yep. and you don't want to put heavy tags on them because they should swim freely. Right, okay, so how exactly did you do this? Well, African penguins carry a spot pattern on their chest, like you see on this model here. Okay, lovely, should I model that for you? <laughs> yes, please. And these spots are unique. It's like their name, like a fingerprint, printed on their chest. Yes. And we use cameras to read it and identify them non-invasively this way. Fantastic. So should we see this thing in action? Right. We need to see the chest. This okay. Is important. So, so we've got one penguin there. Right. You will see the system will tell us which penguin that is once we see the chest pattern. For them. Okay. So that one looks like it's called Henry. Well, you can read it. Uh, well, Henry has been nice. <laughs> nice. Right, so these guys need their presents, so we better get snapping. You know what? They're penguins. They've all been nice. So it looks like all the African penguins are pretty satisfied with their Christmas present. But hang on, I think we've missed a couple. There's a group over there. Let's go and have a quick look. Ah, oh, it's just the crew. Guys, I don't think you've grasped the concept. You're gonna get the same present. You're gonna get the same present as the penguins. Here you go. <laughs> Who's the jackass now? Boom! It worked! Yes! Well done you! Well, YouTube will be back in the new year, so if you can think of any tortures or activities to put this lot through in 2013, then write them in the comment box below. But for now, have a fantastically festive season, and we'll see you next time on Zulala. Bye! You know, you know, only the magic are in these hands. Mm -hmm.